Now this is the part 4 of IIT Jam 2017 solution. Okay, I need to use a bright color here. Okay. So I'm solving from question number 11. So now the questions are getting tougher as everyone is having two marks now. Okay. The flux of the vector field is they have asked about and they have given it by an equation if you call it 2 pi x plus 2 x square x you can see it and no need to read it and on the outward normal now this one is a very important thing there's inward normal and outward normal across the ellipse x square plus 16 y square equal to 4 now we have to find the flux okay so here we need a smaller diagram so let's draw it so this is the structure. This is z equal to 0. This one is z equal to 1. So the whole part is 1. This one is S1. This is surface number 3. This one is x square plus 16y square equal to 4 as you can see and S2 two is this okay now uh, so here if equal to 2 pi x so, so given equation is this uh, so flux of the vector field along the outward normal there across the ellipse is actually equal to flux across now this one is a very important so as across surface of elliptical cylinder of unit height which I have drawn over here okay so what we can write mathematically is f of n this thing so where s1 plus s2 plus s3 three surfaces together so this one for s1 f of n ds sum of f n ds and f n ds and this is for s3 and this one as for S2, so now we have figured out the structure. So for S2 and S3, the normal is so for S2, the normal is minus k hat, and for S3 is k hat, and it's respectively. So the integral will become zero. So here is three f n d s is nothing but nabla delta yeah this name is nabla it's not reverse delta okay so but uh, here delta f but the dot product of f is nothing but 2 pi 4 x y square by pi plus 2 pi x minus 4 by pi so here we can solve it via integration okay so we can do it like integration f in d s triple integral as it's based on the structure okay so this is 2 pi plus 4x y square plus pi plus 2 pi x minus 4 pi dz dx dy so after the integration this is 2 pi minus so yeah 4 pi will be outside and this will double integration dx dy plus double integral 4y square by pi plus 2 pi x dy dx so you can put the value I here 2 pi minus 4 by pi pi 2 half minus 0. So now uh, this is happening because fx equal to x so, uh, is an odd functional structure. So 2 pi square minus 4. So this thing is happening. So the answer to the question is option number B. Okay. So this one was a challenging question after all. And now we will go to question number 12 and this about uh, let M be the set of all invertible 5 into 5 matrices uh, with entry 0 and 1. So it's a binary question. So for each M belongs to M. So let N1 M and N0 M denote the number of 1s and zeros respectively. Then what is the minimum value of their differences? 
so here we can represent the structure in this way here so like one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero and then double zero one 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 you see the pattern i'm introducing this three is going towards right 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 it's done so again they're going one right one outside of the structures so it doesn't matter then again they're going one right it doesn't matter so this is the way to remember so the minimum value minimum of this m belongs m n1 m sin 0 of m so this is less than or equal to n1 m minus n0 m okay so which is nothing but here we have 12 minus 13 mod so 1 is our answer okay so next one is on the basis of E okay it's a matrix so m is given x is given so they have found limit m to the power n so this is the tricky part of the question so you remember that whenever this kind of stuff is given we need to find m square m cube and check the pattern if m square if you do it like squaring it both side as you know so i am not going to solve those portions one by four zero one so this can be directly can put a value that is half square and this is a half 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 I can write the value but I'm not writing because it will help me later so this is the structure so or else I can write half square I can take half common and this is half plus 1 okay and this is 0 1 so this is a one pattern next for m cube also if we do it, we can do it with a different pen. Hmm. So for m cube also, you will see a similar pattern that is half to the power 4, 1 by 4, half cube, half square, plus half, plus 1. It's actually half to the power 0 and 0, 1. So the base, the second row is getting same. So in that way, m to the power n can also be guessed now. So half to the power n, 1 by 4, oh, sorry, this one is cube. Okay, so this is 1 by 4, this should be squared then. Yeah, okay, and half plus 1, this is for m4 I have written, okay. So the, uh, on the basis of this pre-calculations, we can see that 1 by 4, I can write the m4 for you again, okay, if you have missed out this portion. Or rather, this re-portion again I will be doing, okay. So, what is happening here? m cube, if you do, so that is m square into m, let me do it, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 0 and 1, and then this value okay so i'm not writing so this value so this is giving you so half into half so, so this is half to the power three and uh, you are introducing this one by four so half square plus half plus one and it is zero and one m4 is in the same pattern with m again multiplied with m cube so this is half to the power 4. Now things are getting evident very easily. Half cube plus half square plus half plus 1 and this is 0, 1. So obviously our answer to the m to the power n thing will be half to the power n. And this is 0 and 1. And this thing is 1 by 4 and uh, half to the power n minus 1. As whatever is happening, 1 less, half to the power n minus 2 plus dot 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 and the last value is 1 so that's it so here if we go for limit n tends to infinity m n into x so the main problem is the limit doesn't exist enough okay so we can't put the limit over here of the absolute the absence of the values of n so the option number a is correct okay 
So now, rest of the thing I will be doing in my next video. Thank you.